Okay, I've put my board on my robot I built and I've wrote a little bit of software to show the capabilities off. I'll just press reset because I have it in main.py so it'll automatically boot on startup. So when it starts up, I'll come along, it just displays my logo for a couple of seconds and then goes into this. At the very top here I have it display the battery voltage, um, the status of the um, access point and the station, which are both off at the moment. I've used, made myself a little network. See here I just press that button to rotate through the menus, what I want. At the moment I'll connect in access mode to show off the access mode. I'll press select up there. And you can see now it updates the um, IP address of the access mode. So I come down here to my tablet, I go to my settings, and I will connect just scanning for Wi-Fi. There we are, my ESP32 robot is connected up. Now I have wrote just a small little web server. After it connects to the internet, it'll start the web server for me. If I go to the internet, and I type in my web address of 192.168.4.1, and the route I've got is demo.html okay. and loads up and it's just a really simple um, HTML it just puts up three sliders and connects a web socket and you can see the address to web sockets on and what happens is my robot will just follow those sliders around so I'll put the, try to put that a little bit closer so we can see if I shift that slider across oh, let's just zoom in there a little bit let's get that slide across to that way my robot means each way with the slider. If I go to my next slider, it makes the robot move forwards and backwards. If I go to the very bottom slider down here, it makes the robot go up and down. So I've just put three sliders for the three-dimensional three direction control and I've just wrote a simple um, HTML that on change of the slider, it just simply sends the change via the WebSocket and the software on the robot just reads that change and adjusts that change to however it is. And like I said, that's a nice little demo. Show off the fact that you can use the screen to display information. You can use the buttons in order to be able to, for the user to, be able to select information. And of course, you can run a nice little server off it quite well and easy.